Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information as well as, uh, you know, Discord. I, I like the Discord right now. Follow me on GitHub. Uh, and I do premium problems on Patreon and uh, my course I'm building on Patreon and stuff. If you're interested in that, I really appreciate support. Here is subarray sum equals K. This is a medium problem on leak code. I'll link the problem in the description. It's not too difficult. It's pretty easy. It's pretty similar to like two sum. This is a hash map problem. A lot of likes, so pretty cool. Um, you're given an array of integers. For example, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, whatever. It could be anything, just a bunch of integers, right? So 1, 5, 3. It might look like this, right? It could look whatever, but it's integers. You need to find the total number of continuous subarrays whose sum equals 2K. So this means numbers that are next to each other, you know. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, a subarray filled with this one and this one. The numbers have to be next to each other. So a continuous subarray and the sum of all the values in the continuous subarray has to be equal to k. So we're given this array and we're given an integer k. And we want to find the number of subarrays. And in this example, there's two. One here and then one here. The number of continuous subarrays whose total sum of all the values is equal to k. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Those are two subarrays. The other ones are, you know, this goes to 3, so that's wrong. This is 1. This is 1. This is 1. And there's an empty array. This is only 2. How do we do this? Well, there's some slow versions of this. You could generate all subarrays of a uh, list and then go through and see if they all, uh, if any of them add up, their total sum is t K, but that's, you know, that's pretty time consuming. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a hash map. And the idea behind this is you're going to keep a hash map. You're going to keep a cumulative sum. So we're going to have a sum starting at zero, and it's just going to add all the values of the array as we loop through. So let's just write that out. So we'll have a sum zero, and we'll be looping through the numbers. Sum plus equal nums of i as well as we're also going to need our results so this is the number of subarrays that add up to k so you could call it whatever you want subarray count or whatever you want to call it but this is what we're going to be returning okay so we're looping through the array of numbers we're adding them onto an ongoing sum now how do we what do we do with this what do we do with this ongoing sum well think about this the distance between two points if the if you're at a current sum and you have seen a sum and two different points two different points in an array if you subtract them the total sums from those different points in the array at different indices and it adds up to k then the array between those points is size k that's the whole thesis here is, you know, you just keep an ongoing sum, you put them in a hash map with the respective uh, times you've seen them at current indices, and you just check, you check back in your hash map and you say, have we seen a sum, have we seen our sum minus k before? Because if we've had, if we have, then we've seen an array of size k since the last time we added that into the hash map. So that's the whole thing right here. And then I'll show you an animation at the end. But, um, you just do hash map of integer integer where the first integer is the current cumulative sum. The second one is the number of times we've seen that sum because you could see them more than once. And uh, we can just call this array sums or whatever you want to call it. And this will be our main hash map. Uh, just to start out, we put um, zero because, you know, we start out the sum is zero and we saw it once. So we have seen a sum of zero once at the beginning um and each iteration of the loop will be adding to the array will be adding the current sum now these values could be negative so we could see the same sum twice right it could go to three you know this for example if this is our input array and um sorry about that this is our input array the sum is three right but then say we saw four and then we see negative one still three so you could see a sum of three in our hash map you know once at first and then we'll see it again so we have to change our hash map 
This is the number of times we've seen that sum. Okay, so we put the sum and then we put array sums dot get um, sum get or default because we could have not seen it actually. So if it's the first time we see it, the it'll default to zero and we'll add one to it. So if it's the first time we'll see it, we'll add one in the hash map. We'll add the sum and we saw it once. If it's not, it'll get the number of times we've already seen it. So maybe we saw it once already and we'll add one. So we'll have seen it twice now, or maybe we'll have seen it three times or whatever. Um, this is just a cool method for helping us out with that. Now, how does this help us? How does this help us? So, um, you know, we we go through this array, we add, we build our hash map with our sums and the number of times we've seen it. Well, now all we have to do is check, okay, each iteration we should just check, okay, have we seen the sum, the current sum minus K? Because if we have, well then we found, if the current sum is later on in the array and we saw it minus K and we put it in the hash map, that means we saw an array of size K between those two points. That's the whole thing. It's really not that hard. Uh, I just want to make it as clear as possible. So, you know, maybe we saw maybe we saw three a few times and result plus equals array sums dot get sum minus K. This is the whole thing. That's the whole problem. And you could uh, submit that and I'll show you right here. What's the issue? Yep, extra parenthesis. My bad. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm sorry. What does this say? Method get or default. Sorry, not get of default. Bad typing. Okay, there we go. So it runs. So let me just explain this one more time though. And I'll show you this, ex this example right here. It says right here, sum of I minus sum of J, two different points in the array with the sums in the hash map. If we see sum minus K in the hash map, well, then that means we've seen between our point now and the point before that we put it in a hash map, we've seen a sum of K. You know, it's pretty obvious. It says, extending the idea behind is as follows. Cumulative sum represented by sum of I, I index up to two indices is the same sum of elements um, lying between those indices is zero. Right, like in the example of uh, one, 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 uh, one, negative one, the sum here is three, and then the sum here is also three, so that means that the sum of this subarray would be zero. So we know that. So, you know, the same logic applies to k. So if k was zero, that means, well, we did find a subarray right here of size, you know. Um, a subarray right here, sorry, of size zero. So that we would add one to the count. Okay. So based on these thoughts, we use a hash map and we store the cumulative. It, it, it just explains what I'm saying, but here's, here's just a little animation. So we start off with a sum of zero, right? Let's go backwards a little bit. We start off with a sum of zero and we're looking for K equals seven in this example. This is our input array. And then our sum is zero and our count of subarrays that add up to K is zero. We see a three, so we're like, okay, we saw, now we see a sum of three, and we put it in, we only saw it once so far, okay, and we look, do we see a negative four in here anywhere? No, we haven't, we haven't seen a sum of negative four. We see, now we see a four, so we've seen a total sum of seven, okay, k is seven, so we check sum minus k, is there a zero in the hash map? Yes, we saw sum of zero. So that means from this point up to this point, we have found a subarray that equals to K in sum. So that's the whole idea here. You can go through it a little bit more. We see a seven. So we do 14 minus seven. And oh, we found a seven. So that's just a small subarray right there that we have found and we can add to our count. Two, negative three, one, you know what I mean? It's all, it just keeps changing. You can go through this example on your own. I think I explained it pretty well. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I know it's a little bit huff, uh, t tough to, um, you know, get visualized in your head. But um, it's just like, a, you know, a little difference thing. You're putting them in a hash map and you just check the difference. And if you've seen something minus K, well then, you know, there you go. You found something of size K and you can add it on. So, um 
Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate everyone that supports the channel. And uh, let me know if you have any questions you want me to do uh, or anything, you know. Give me ideas. I'll probably do them. So, uh, see you guys.